As the owner of one of Ghana's busiest restaurants, Afua Asante has a lot on her plate. From managing a team of 40 to ensuring each dish is cooked just right. She's one of a new breed of restaurant owners in Ghana's capital, Accra, serving a middle class that's expanding despite economic problems that led the government to seek help from the International Monetary Fund. The economy is worth more than $37 billion, too small for the likes of McDonald's, but leaving a niche for African restaurateurs such as Asante, who grew up in a village in eastern Ghana. She opened as Mira Restaurant in Accra six years ago, offering a $20 buffet menu featuring staples such as fufu, made from pounded cassava and plankton. Most of the restaurants target business travelers, expatriates and tourists, but the sweet spot is Africa's middle class. Anybody at all can just walk into Asmira because our prices is affordable. But for instance, the presidents, the ambassadors, uh, the high, the top class people, this is where they eat. A main dish in an ordinary restaurant is just made up of certain specific items. But over here there's a variety from which you, you can choose. So virtually you can make your own um, main, di uh, main dish the way you want it and enjoy it. Sub-Saharan Africa spends more on food as a percentage of its income than any other region in the world. Yet its restaurant sector, South Africa aside, is smaller than anywhere else, industry experts say. But Africa's middle class is expanding with 128 million households expected to be on an annual income of 5,000 US dollars or more in 2020, up from just 85 million in 2008, according to a report by global management consulting firm McKinsey. As economic growth increases household incomes, eating out should take off over the next decade, and African entrepreneurs are seizing the opportunity. Eric Ando, who lived in Britain for years, returned to Ghana a few years ago. He opened Starbite's restaurant, offering a menu of things he liked to eat, sandwiches, burgers, pizza, and African food. The business boomed, and he now has three outlets in Accra with plans to open more in the capital's metropolitan area. I think Ghana has the potential to do it. We're, we're doing it, we're, we're, four, we're almost four years into it, and we have three branches. You know, if, if we push, by the end of this year, we can have six branches. You know, it, it, it's, we've got a formula now, so we can, we can replicate what we have far easier and, far, easier and faster in other areas. Running a restaurant is high stress anywhere, but owners say it's tougher in Ghana due to irregular power supply, corruption at the port that raises the cost of imports, and staff who fail to grasp the ethics of good service. But restaurateurs are staking their fortunes on Africa's growing appetite. Valdi Karlsson, CCTV.